I'm outside of the store and you guys there's a freaking huge ass grass hopper, grass hopper on the door handle and I don't know how to take it off. Look at it. I know I have to just jolt it for it to jump off but oh no my stuff is over there. Let me see if I could do it this time. I threw it with my left me that's why. Es que no quiero que me brinque. No hombre. Aquí me van a ir todo el día. No pues. I'm just gonna not open the store today because I'm just kidding. It's just I hate grasshoppers. I just hate the fact knowing that they could jump anywhere. You know, but I wanted to land on me. I got it to get down, but it's right in front. So if I open the door, it's gonna kill it, and I don't want to kill it. Bet amiguito, por favor. That took way longer than it should have. That cricket almost made me quit. Ahora que me acuerdo, someone told me that a cricket, un grillo. That's a cricket, right? Because I always get cricket and grasshoppers confused. Oh no, that's a grasshopper. I don't know. I think one of those is good luck. So if that's the case, bet. This month I have a lot that I want to do with the store. So that's going to be in the works because a fall is coming up. And you guys know we fucking kill it in fall. That's like, I know that's a lot of people's favorite style, month, season, whatever. But I feel like we do it right because we're from Colorado. So we know to bring something cute but warm. Otherwise, pues no, no sirve. The store is officially up and running. But you guys, it is so hot. I hope you guys can hear me. We have two fans running. This one over here and that one over there. Our AC is stuck on freaking like 60 and I don't know, not 68, 70, no, 80 something. I seen it just now and I don't know how to un like hook it, but it works, but it doesn't turn on. I don't know. So I am so sorry if you guys come and it's freaking hot in here. I am melting and this hair is about to go up in like two seconds, but mucha bladera, mucha bladera. I want to show you guys these three girls over here. Gotta change them and they look so freaking cute. I would wear all these outfits. Like you guys saw, I went to my appointment to get my Adderall prescription refilled. I also did blood work a month ago. So I just went in for like an overall checkup to talk to my doctor about all that stuff. And I mentioned a few videos ago that I was now on ADD medication, AKA Adderall, because I <laughs> self-diagnosed with ADD and turns out a bitch was right. So I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about that just in case you guys are curious or you guys think you have it or how I went about getting checked and diagnosed and now a little update on what it's like being on Adderall. Let me pull up my little bar stool para agarrar bien el chisme. I've always been very upbeat, very active, very positive, very talkative, very energetic. That's just my personality. But I had heard from so many people that know me, they would even ask me, they'd be like, are you sure you don't got ADD? or girl get it together, or how do you forget this, or how do you, you know? So I've always heard comments like that. So I was scrolling through TikTok and my For You page on TikTok really said, for you bitch, because I got a lot of ADD videos. And if I keep looking that way, it's because my windows are right in front a roundabout. So every time a car passes, it just catches my attention. I'm sorry. Normally I would just skip through them because I'm like, oh, whatever. I've heard of ADD or ADHD, but I always assumed that it was for the people that had to like shake their leg constantly or be jumping around constantly or couldn't sit still. And I feel like that wasn't me. But now that I know more about it, I know that the hyperactive part of ADHD can manifest itself in different ways. ADHD is just called ADD because of that, I'm assuming, because ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. ADD is just Attention Deficit Disorder. So if you're like me, I thought I didn't have it because I wasn't like jumping all over the place or I couldn't sit still or, you know, I don't have that. Although it does manifest for me in touching my hair. Like there would be times that I go through like these episodes where I'm touching my hair constantly and at first i thought it was like because i'm nervous but no i touch my hair even when i'm not nervous and i don't even realize that i'm doing it it's just something that i do i guess that could be called like a soothing reaction i don't know but anyway those videos kept popping up and i just was like okay it's not me but then i listened to one and the girl was talking about her symptom of her arm i think she said it's called like broken wrist syndrome where if you sleep and you have like your arm like this like all the way bent in like it doesn't matter which one that that's a sign of it she also said one of her signs was 
lip biting. Another sign of it was being forgetful. And the most common one that I saw with all these videos was people saying that if you start something and you don't finish it, or when you're cleaning, you do a million things at once, and then it's almost impossible for you to wrap it up. For me, that is true 100% because I would clean a million things, but I would always leave the, like the basurita, you know, when you sweep the little thing that you have to pick up with the sweeper. Why was that the fucking hardest thing? Not washing the dishes, not doing laundry, but after everything was all said and done, after I swept, the little trash right there, oh my God, it was like you're asking me to climb Mount Everest. I just, it was so hard because at that point I'm mentally checked out and I would do that with a lot of things. Sorry, if someone came in and then I started putting those jeans out, but I don't know where I was at, but let me take this time to do a reset because my mind still feels discombobulated. And again, this only happens when I have to say something that happened in like chronological order it's so annoying and it makes me so frustrated and i can't get it together I saw those tiktoks and it sounded like something that i had and a lot of the people whose video i saw i can't i went to their profile and they talked about how they were on adderall how it changed their life how they're able to think how they're able to get stuff done and i was like oh my god if that can happen to me that would be amazing with me and my work life i don't know how i've made it this far <laughs> honestly i feel like i would have been so much more consistent with everything with youtube with instagram with tiktok i could have done so much more but i stopped myself from doing it because i literally do not do it i literally don't but the computer see the computer thing i lose my train of thought and all that happened was the screen went dark because i wasn't touching the mouse but luckily for me my concunis she works at a clinic and so i was like hey do you guys test for add and she's like yeah we do and i was like okay well can you set me up an appointment and luego luego she did um then came time um uh it came time for my appointment and forward to my appointment and before I could even talk to the doctor the front desk gave me like a huge like not huge but like five six papers of like the questionnaires I told the doctor I was like honestly I self-diagnose on TikTok I you probably hear that a lot from people that are on Google but I just kind of want to rule it out and if it's not that way I could tell myself that I just need to be more focused and pay more attention and it's just me and my discipline versus it actually is ADD bitch and this is why you function the way that you do and it's not that you don't want to do it it's just that your mind it's not wired that way so i figured if anything something good could come out of me either figuring out that it was or figuring out that it wasn't so long story short i'm in this appointment i'm talking to the doctor and we kind of go off of the questions do we ever feel this do we ever feel that and then once we got that out the way we also talked about anxiety and depression and you know things that could be attributed with any kind of mental um, I don't want to say it's a disorder, but anything, just anything, you know? After this appointment, she wasn't like, okay, you're prescribed Adderall or anything. No, she actually sent me home with a bigger packet. And in this packet, I have to fill it out and fill out the categories. But also, I didn't know that they did this, but it makes sense. Is there's a portion for someone close to you or someone that knows you or you spend a lot of time around. They have to fill that out, actually. That's good because she, I think the doctor gets an outside perspective. And obviously, I gave mine to Jesus. And it was really interesting because... Some of the things that I thought I did, I didn't do. The question was like, does this person get out the house quickly? And in my head, I answered yes. Because I'm like, okay, I got my phone, I have my computer, I do this, do that. And I feel like I'm out the house, you know? But that is not true because when Jesus brought it up to me, I was like, what do you mean no? Because he answered no. I was like, what do you mean I don't get out the house quickly? But he said that I don't because I always forget my phone or I misplace it so I can't find it. I'm going back for my lipstick. I'm going back for my charger. I'm going back for my camera. Like I'm always going back and it takes me forever to get out the house. And I didn't even conceptualize that that's what happens. But I think I'm moving so fast. Like I'm getting my phone, I'm getting this. But when he said that, I think back to when Jesus gets out the house, he just grabs his keys, his phone, he knows where they're at, and he's ready. He got all of that out the way. And here are some of the things that I told her, which I wanna share with you guys, because this is kind of what now I attribute to my ADD. For one, I chew on the inside of my cheek all the time and I don't even realize that I'm doing it. And when I do realize that I'm doing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I probably look like a fucking baka like, chewing in the inside of my cheek. And I don't know why I do it. I don't do it like where I'm bleeding or I am biting myself. I just feel like I'm just chewing on the inside of like my cheeks, like the little pejitos. I don't know how to explain it, but 
I could do that forever without me noticing. The one that also caught me off guard, which was so fucking accurate, was the one that's like, like in social settings, do you have a hard time waiting for your turn to talk? And bitch, if that is not me, and it's not because I'm rude or I interrupt, but I'm like in my head, I'm like, oh my God, I wanna say this. Un perrito, no, I'm over here wagging my tail. But I, it's, it's almost like in my head, I want to let the person know that I have something similar or I want to give them a piece of advice or I want to put my two cents in and not in a self-centered way because obviously I'm an adult I know how to have conversations with people but my head bitch my head is doing its own thing and it's finishing your sentences and it is thinking about how I relate to what you're talking about and it just makes it really hard for me to not interrupt but obviously throughout the years and just living life I just hold it in but now I know why I do that because my brain does that naturally <sighs> you guys I am so over this video it's obviously a few days hold on let me fix this it has been a few weeks actually from the last footage you guys saw i'm obviously at the store again i'm wearing something different let me tell you guys this video has been a pain in my ass but i refuse to refilm it i didn't want to lose the footage of what happened while i was recording to give you guys an example of what my add or adhd is like i edited the whole first half before i even realized i was missing the remaining half which is where i talk about my symptoms where i talk about being on adderall and like the overall like few months update at the end so i I was like no i'm not refilming this i actually already even posted a vlog it was me and his was writing so if you guys haven't watched it click the little thing here so you guys can watch it it is so funny looking back at it now but anyways i need to wrap up this video the last thing you guys saw was me talking about my symptoms so i talked about the tiktok and how i had the broken wrist syndrome how i interrupt or like in my head i interrupt people when they're talking how i forget things how it's hard for me to wrap up a task i also mentioned the biting inside of my cheeks Sorry, I'm trying to like summarize where I left off. Another thing that I didn't mention was the burst of like frustration or rage, which honestly, this one came to a surprise because I didn't think that would be attributed to ADD. So this usually happened to me in the mornings. This little burst of rage would come randomly. Like I wouldn't be able to control it or I wouldn't be able to like decompress so that I didn't get to that level. No, it happened randomly with random situations that literally weren't that deep. And I'll give you guys like two examples. One time I was running a little bit late and I had to put on white shoes so I could get to school on time. Obviously this was a while ago and I could not find his sock and it threw me over the edge. It was so weird. I obviously don't take it out on anybody, but in my mind, I start making up scenarios like, oh my gosh, where's the sock? Where did I put it? Or like, Jesus didn't help me. Like, why don't, why wouldn't he think to help me that same morning, have his stuff laid out? Like, like really extreme bouts of frustration when in reality, I could have just went and got another bundle of socks. But I, Terka, I had to be the gray socks. And I remember it had to be the gray socks because it matched his outfits and I couldn't find it. And I was there looking for it for five minutes, like drowning in my frustration. It's so weird. And I just get so angry over the weirdest things. Another time was that I couldn't find his bottle. It's not like he like drinks bottle bottle, like his sippy cup. I couldn't find his sippy cup. And it was stressing me out because I couldn't find his goddamn sippy cup. Una desesperación because it's not that deep it's just his sippy cup you can get another one or you can find it give it to him in a cup or something but it was just in the in those moments you get or i get so frustrated and so fixated on my frustration that it, it's overwhelming like to the point that it, i could cry like that's how frustrated i am and normally when i'm frustrated like when i lose patience with the kids or something you know it's never to that level it was only in those like little situations that didn't make sense. And even when I would snap out of it, I was like, Ugh, I never want to do that again. So it was really weird. So now that they told me that that's also like a symptom, like bouts of frustration or anger that can also be attributed to ADD, I was like, okay, al 100% soy yo. <laughs> I think another one is also being very forgetful, which I feel like that one is easy because if you're so easily distracted, you, know, you don't know where you leave stuff. So I'm always losing my wallet. I'm always losing my phone. I'm always losing my ID or credit card because I never take the time to like change where I'm leaving things, obviously, because I'm just putting stuff everywhere. So I feel like that one is really common. But another one that I know 
level that is attributed to my ADD, the fact that I have a really hard time relaxing. And I know, I feel like a lot of people could be like, oh, that's me as fuck because I'm always distracted or I'm always doing this or I'm doing that. But honestly, I take so long before I could even simmer down to even watch a movie. So it's not like I don't go on vacation or I don't go out with friends. No, I have trouble relaxing with really simple like everyday tasks. For example, like I said, the movie. His will be like, okay, we're going to watch this movie. He looks it up on Netflix or YouTube or whatever, and he's good to go. He's sitting down. He has his pillows ready. But me, I'm like, okay, before I sit down, I need to go do this. I need to go do that. I need to post an Instagram picture. I need to respond to this customer's email, or I need to go put Hoy's blanket in the washer. Like, I just go through a million things before I even can mentally sit down to prep myself and watch this movie. It takes me at least like 20 minutes before I could even sit down to enjoy this movie with everybody. When in reality, everything could wait. Everything could just pause and it's just really hard for me to relax like in that sense you know what i mean obviously if they tell the average person like oh you need to take a week off of work in a minute you might even also have a hard time like getting to that point but for me i have a hard time getting to that point with everything i don't want to stretch this portion of the video too long i've pretty much explained everything my symptoms how i got diagnosed and everything up until that point so i actually have been on adderall for a few months now i actually got a re-up on my dosage so i've had two prescriptions 45 days worth but the way i talked to my doctor about this was to just take it on days that i absolutely need it which is like the days that i have to do computer stuff days that i have to edit or days that i really want to get the house clean because like i mentioned it's really hard to wrap up the tasks like cleaning house wise so i only take it on those days so those 45 day pills have lasted me like two months so honestly i think i've been on it like for like three months now and I can think back to the first day that I took that pill I took it in the morning I came back from dropping the kids off and I got in the shower and let me tell you guys I I remember this feeling so vivid, vividly because I wanted to cry and it was so crazy because I felt like I had never felt that peace in my mind clearly because I have never taken Adderall. So when I was in the shower, I was just there and I was realizing that I was just enjoying the shower. I was noticing how the water felt like on my body. Like I was noticing like that I was exfoliating, that I was just taking like a really good shower. And I know that sounds so stupid, but usually my showers are in there and I'm planning my day because that's I don't know that's just how i do it so i'm in the shower and i'm realizing that i'm thinking about the fact that i'm not thinking about anything which is so weird because not thinking about work not thinking about my kids not thinking about what i had to do or constantly thinking about ideas because my mind doesn't just stress about work and kids and stuff it also picks up ideas for my business ideas for posts captions songs like it's so fucking crazy outfits like it's so crazy so to be in the shower and just fully like embodying like just the simple shower life, I could have cried. I remember texting Jesus when I was out that shower and just telling him like, oh my fucking God, this is amazing. Like it feels so good to just be thinking about what's going on in the present time. And it was insane. I just had so much energy. I was focused. I knew in my mind, I still had to do a million things, but I was determined to do everything and to do it right, which has never happened because I usually start stuff and then I never finish it. I was able to think clearly while doing these tasks, which is something that doesn't usually happen. Like I'll push through clearly because I have to do my job, but it never happens as smooth and as efficiently as it does now with Adderall, with the help of Adderall. Now it's like, okay, bedroom, done, bathroom, done, kitchen, done, and I just it's just so much more like streamlined you know yeah i mean guys that was my whole add journey i hope this video was useful just me talking about what it was like getting diagnosed and especially now that i am over the age of 30 and how much difference it makes even for someone who is here already with kids out of school and i do find benefit in it and what's crazy is i don't want to diagnose geo but i feel like i see a lot of me in him and i now know that i can give him the habits not even the pill the medication but i could give him the habits help him you know cope with things so that in the future he, it's just so much easier for him so yeah i am so happy that i did get diagnosed i could only imagine what this could have done for me had i been diagnosed essentially 
in high school or in college and it just would have helped make my life a little bit easier and let me wrap up this video thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so so much if you haven't already be sure to subscribe like this video comment below if you think you have it or if you do have it let me know your experience your story on how it all happened i would love to know also let me know how old you are because i feel like that's to me the most interesting thing about my journey that it was over 30 like as a full-blown adult this is when i got diagnosed like you know but yeah me guys i have to hurry up and go because i'm actually gonna start another vlog i need to run some errands today we'll see you guys in the next one until next time